Hi viewer, welcome back. We're gonna do today lentil rice with tomato sauce, kushari. It's a traditional famous dish in Egypt. I hope you like it, it's really healthy. Let's see the ingredients. We have four cups of brown lentil. I'm soaking it in water and the three cups of long grain rice soaked in water as well and one cup of elbow mini pasta eight ounce diced onion i uh, will spice it with two big tablespoon of cumin it's very important for all these gases in the lentil not to affect our body and two large tablespoon of salt for our sauce for our sauce we're gonna use one teaspoon mixed spices and one teaspoon salt quarter teaspoon crushed red pepper we use two cups of tomato sauce two ounces chopped garlic three ounces chopped celery we'll take two ounces chopped onion as well for the garnish i have a sliced onion we're gonna fry it and uh, we'll use almost one cup of vegetable oil let's cook it so in boiling water i add my lentil and disregard the soaking water so we see the dirt in there we don't need this dust in our food we'll cover it up to boil quick i'm gonna start with some oil less than one ounce i'm gonna add two ounce onion all my celery as well in separate pot i'm gonna boil my pasta so i need boiling water here to go in this side I'm gonna add all my garlic I'll add the spices one teaspoon mixed spices one teaspoon salt and quarter spoon crushed red pepper uh, I'm gonna add two cups tomato sauce I'll add some boiling water cover it up and let it simmer on separate burner so all the ingredients will be cooked so I got my boiling water ready add some salt I just want to dump my little pasta lentil going here I'm gonna put it in medium heat I'm gonna start the onion first of all I have to use some oil in this process for the onion to get the result I wanted I add a fair amount of oil. Let's say we shallow fry the onion now. This onion is just a garnish. We'll go on the top. And we want them to get fairly golden. I'm moving my onion around so all of them get even color. Because usually the browning starts from the out circle of the saucepan. Meanwhile, onion is getting ready. Onion almost ready. So I'm gonna turn off the heat so I wouldn't burn it and give it a spin very hot process better be careful here I just want the onion I want to reuse the oil I'm gonna do the rest of the onion now I put the heat source back in medium and I add some more oil here so we got the first onion out we start with the second one check up on the pasta we're gonna double check our lentil it's been boiling for 10 minutes it's cooked halfway cooked so we'll put this on the side when it comes to lentil we need a lot of cumin 
our two tablespoon cumin and salt will be added. I'm gonna add the cumin. The salt wouldn't interfere in cooking. Cover it up again. I'll try the cumin sauce. Still crunchy. So I'm gonna keep it on the fire. We rinse the pasta and we keep it on the side. The onion, when it's almost ready, we feel it's light. It loses its weight. And that's how we know it's all done. We just look for the color at this time. We didn't do anything except we're stirring it around. If we start, if we think it's burned, it's not. We want most of it to be a little bit darker than golden brown. The lentil, if we want to add some water, we better add boiling water. The lentil itself will get chopped, take longer time to cook. So I have, I have my boiling water. Just for I add the rice, I will double check if it's almost done because it will continue cooking with the rice. So I'm gonna add my rice. I rinse, I strain the rice from all the water. I'm gonna add it. It's a long grain rice. Stir it around. Need a lot of boiling water now. Along with my boiling water, I'll put the salt with the rest of cumin. The onion is clearly done, so I'm gonna turn off the heat. I have my tomato sauce here. Just wanna reserve a little bit tomato sauce on the side and add the rest all in here. It changed a little bit. I like the kushari tomato sauce added in it. We're gonna add all of this onion without the oil. Now it's time to stir. I'm not worry about the tomato sauce. Tomato sauce will be all around. Just worry about the onion. So that's why I give it little spin. Before I close it, I'm gonna dry the sauce. Yummy. And lower the heat before I make extra mess. Some salt. I'm gonna cover it and bray. I'll keep it a tiny open here so it wouldn't bubble up. And the lowest possible on the stove. Lowest heat possible. I'll keep it tiny tilted to the side so it have time to breathe. It have a little bit gap to breathe and the lowest heat possible here we go our kosheri i scoop it i put some pasta on the top some of these onions and they have the tomato sauce on the side i have the tomato sauce on the side and i got some tzatziki sauce one of my recipes so how we gonna eat this we gonna Put some tomato sauce on it, okay? If you want to spice it up, some Tabasco as well in your plate. And some of this tzatziki sauce. Mix and eat. I hope you like it. You taste it. It's seriously yummy. See you next time. Bye-bye.